Today we're taking a look at this Nikon F to Micro Four Thirds lens adapter with built-in tilt shift functionality. This is our Nikon F to Micro Four Thirds tilt rocker tilt shift adapter. Uh, you can see it is a pro grade adapter. That means it's made with pro grade quality materials. It's very durable. It's got a nice finish to it. You can see we've got this nice blue ring here. This is for aperture control. And this is designed to adapt a Nikon F lens to a Micro Four Thirds camera. Now it's not just a standard lens adapter, it also has built-in tilt shift functionality. Uh, we have a gold knob right here, you can loosen that knob, you can actually tilt the lens. And it has a 360 degree rotating button here to rotate the lens 360 degrees, as well as this shift button here. You press this, you can shift all the way right, all the way left. And then because this is a Nikon to Micro Four Thirds adapter, it also has an aperture control ring for Nikon F lenses that don't have a manual aperture control ring. You can see as I turn it, it's actually moving this little aperture control lever. Here's the rear mount. This is the part that mounts to the camera. This is where we mount the lens on the front here. Now these DLX stretch adapters are not designed uh, for adapting a Micro Four Thirds lens to a Micro Four Thirds camera. They're specifically designed to adapt a DSLR lens like this Nikon F lens to a mirrorless camera like this Micro Four Thirds camera. And the reason we can do that is flange distance. Uh, this Nikon lens was designed to mount on a camera with a really deep space between where the camera mounts and where the film or the digital sensor is. And because the Micro Four Thirds camera has a much smaller space uh, between where the lens mounts and the sensor is, we have room to put an adapter. So that's how we're able to adapt DSLR lenses to mirrorless cameras with our lens adapters. Now I get that is a little confusing, so if you do have any questions about lens adapters, comment below. And we make tilt rocker adapters not just for Nikon F to Micro Four Thirds, we make them for all sorts of combinations uh, between DSLR lenses and mirrorless cameras. And we've got a link in the description that shows all the different types we make. If you have a question about a specific lens you want to adapt to your camera, comment below, I can help you out with that. And uh, let me know if you use lens adapters. Now this adapter works with a lot of different types of Nikon F mount lenses. It works with older vintage lenses, like this E-series lens. This is a little pancake lens. This is an older lens. I think it's from around the 70s, so it'll work with this. But it will also work with newer Nikon F mount lenses, like this G lens. Now, as you can see, this lens does not have a built-in aperture control like this lens does. Uh, there's no aperture control, there's focus but it does actually have aperture control on the back. There's this little aperture control lever. And as you can see, as I press it, it's opening the aperture and closing it. So that means when we adapt it to this adapter, uh, we can turn this blue ring and we can actually control the aperture. Let me show you what I mean. We'll mount this G lens. There we go, G mount lens is mounted. Got this blue ring that I can turn. And if you look down the barrel here, you'll see as I turn it, well, it's easier to see on this end. As I turn it, I'm actually adjusting the aperture of the adapted Nikon FG lens. So this is a manual only adapter. That means you cannot autofocus or electronically control aperture with this adapter. You will have to shoot in manual mode and you'll have to adjust the focus of the lens manually as well as the aperture manually with this. And the only type of Nikon F mount lens this adapter won't work with are these AFP lenses. Uh, these are focus and aperture control by wire only, which means they need an electronic communication to adjust the aperture and the focus. And because this adapter has no electronics in it, it's just a manual adapter, uh, it will not work with this specific type of lens. Okay, we've looked at what kind of Nikon lenses work with this adapter. Uh, we've looked at how the adapter works. We've looked at some details of it. Now let's mount a Nikon F mount lens on it. And uh, I'll show you right here, the way we mount the lens on the adapter. So we're gonna find the mounting point here, the little red dot. 
And then we're also gonna find the mounting dot on the lens. Now this lens is a bit tricky. I believe the mounting dot is right here. It's a little black dot right there. So let's line those up. And then we're gonna turn the lens to lock it in place. Now, as you can see, the lens is tightly locked to the adapter. There's a tiny little bit of play there, but it's not much. And we need a little bit of play so it can mount. If there was no play, we wouldn't even be able to mount it to the adapter, but it's very minimal. It's a very firm mount. And if we want to release the lens from the adapter, we just press this release button down here, press that in, and then we rotate the lens to remove it from the adapter. And next up, we're going to mount the Nikon F lens and tilt rocker adapter to our Micro Four Thirds camera. This is a Lumix GH4, but it works with a majority of Micro Four Thirds cameras. Here's your red mounting dot on the adapter. There's your red mounting dot on the camera. We're just gonna line those up, lock it into place. And I showed you the play of the lens and adapter, pretty minimal. Uh, here's the play of the adapter and the camera. It moves ever so slightly. Again, that is so we can mount the adapter on the camera. If we made it tighter than that, the adapter wouldn't even mount. So there's a little tiny bit of rotation, but overall it mounts pretty smoothly. Now with the adapter in the default positions, this works just like a standard lens adapter. I'm adapting the Nikon lens to the Micro Four Thirds camera. I'm getting infinity focus. I can manually focus the lens. I can control the aperture of the lens either with the aperture control wheel on the lens or I can use the smooth adjustment of the blue ring built into the adapter. But this adapter is also a tilt shift adapter, which means I can add tilt functionality and shift functionality to the adapted lens. I can tilt up to 10 degrees and the way I do that is I just turn this little gold knob here. I'm gonna loosen that knob and I can tilt down to about 10 degrees. Now I don't have to tilt down 10 degrees, I can tilt down a little less. So I have that full gamut of tilt. And then I can lock it to the degree of tilt I want by turning this gold knob again. And tilting allows me to adjust the focal plane of the adapted lens. So if I have the lens in standard non-tilt mode, my focal plane is completely flat. But if I tilt down, I'm taking the focal plane and I'm tilting it which means I am adjusting the focus of this lens. I'm creating a sliver of focus and the top and bottom or left and right of the image go out of focus. Now this is good for adding selective focus effects to your shots, but you can also do it very minutely, just a little bit to just very minutely adjust your focus. So you can focus on two objects that are in different planes of focus at the same time. Now I'm tilted down uh, to tilt up or tilt to the left or right. I'm gonna push this gold button on this side and I'm gonna press it and I'm gonna rotate the adapter. And I can rotate it to put the tilt in various places on the camera. So now I can tilt right, or if I want, I can press down this gold button. I can tilt up, so it's facing up, or I can rotate it this way to tilt right. Now you will see the gold knob is bumping into uh, this part of the camera so i can't completely rotate this direction so as one limitation specific cameras are going to give you a little bit of issue but overall i can put the tilt wherever i need it in the shot so we've tilted with this tilt rocker adapter we can also shift this adapter has 20 millimeters of shift you can shift all the way right like that you can shift all the way left or we can do a more minute shift and then if we want to adjust where the shift is in the shot we can again use the gold button here. We can rotate it so we can shift down or up. And this is great for correcting perspective distortion. Uh, you can also do stitched panoramas with it. So let's say we rotate it back to this way. We could lock this down on a tripod, shift left, take a shot, shift all the way right, take another shot. Then we could stitch those two images together to create a stitched panorama. Uh, so that's another thing you can do with it. So this Nikon to Micro Four Thirds adapter has a couple different functions. Uh, it operates just like a normal lens adapter, adapting a Nikon lens to a Micro Four Thirds camera. You can also tilt with it 10 degrees and you can shift 20 millimeters, which means you can turn any adapted Nikon lens into a tilt shift lens. 
Now, if you want to see the different kinds of focal effects and adjustments you can do with the Tilt Rocker Tilt Shift adapter, check out this video. Now, this adapter won't work with all Micro Four Thirds cameras. Uh, you can see this Olympus EM10 uh, when I try to adapt it the adapter is actually bumping into the prism section of this EM10. So I'm not able to mount it onto the camera. So yeah, certain cameras this adapter won't work with. And here is a list right here that shows the Micro Four Thirds cameras this adapter is incompatible with. If your camera is not on the list, it will work with this adapter. Uh, this is just for those of you who have these cameras that it won't work with. So you don't purchase this adapter and it you know doesn't work. If you have any questions about whether your camera works with this adapter, you can comment below. I can help you out. Okay, that was an in-depth look at our Nikon F to Micro Four Thirds Tilt Rocker Tilt Shift Adapter. Uh, if you have any questions about this adapter, comment below. I'd love to help you out, uh, explain anything. Uh, if you have any thoughts on how you would use this adapter, the types of videos or photos you would take, the types of projects you would use it on, comment below as well. I'd love to engage with you. Click the link in the description below to learn more about this specific Tilt Rocker adapter, as well as many others.